hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php blog where in this video we'll be learning how to make a logout system and check the user is authenticated and or not and also check whether the user role is admin or not okay so if he's admin he should be able to log into his dashboard or else he'll be on the main front end website okay guys so let's begin with first logout system so let's go to this navbar guys and create a logout option so yep so let's move to navbar here it is and this is our logout button guys perfect so let me just make it down where you will have to start with the form tag form where i will move with the method post method post and the action will be at all code.php and now guys over here a simple submit button so b u t t o n button where we'll tell log out okay and for the class guys you can just use the same class for drop down purpose over here and this button type will be submit submit and let's remove this a tag we don't require save guys and now let's see the output first so refresh and perfect so we have got this logout when we submit it should go to all code.php with the method post so guys now let's copy this and create a file so let's create a file with the name all code.php so we'll be doing all the coding over here for front end or anything okay so yep guys let's begin with php open and php close where we are using session so make sure you are starting the session in the top of the page and so guys now let's check the button is clicked or not so our logout button so for that guys you can use a set function to check it is clicked or not that means it is pressed so yep let's copy the button name let's mention this as over log out underscore button copy this and go back to all code dot php and set dollar underscore post method where logout button okay and now guys you can directly create session destroy function so it will destroy all the function if you don't want to destroy all the things so you can just use whatever you have set the session in your login code so let me just show you we have set three sessions one is auth role and one is auth user so guys let's paste that so you just need to give unset function where you will tell this auth user i mean authentication and then auth user and auth role okay so let's copy and paste and one more is that user all set guys after logout guys i want to go back to home page by the showing message as logged out successfully okay so the message will show with the name as message m e s s a g e why because we have already created a file with the name message.php where we have set the session message so same name we are going to copy and paste okay so with this help of we'll show the message let's go to header location where capital l location colon i want to go back on the index.php file so same and after this guys just exit with zero or else you can redirect to login.php file guys it will be more good so once you log out you should be redirected to login.php page so guys to show this message on login.php page let's go to login.php file where we have already included okay so all set now let's get back guys first refresh so now let's click to log out log out you logged out successfully we have got the message and this condition is changed guys perfect so now guys let's log in again 
om at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight click login perfect you are logged in done guys and we have successfully done with logout and login now guys let us check the authentication part for our admin dashboard okay so yep let's log out now first step we are logged out successfully and let's go to admin dashboard so you can see that guys you are redirected to admin dashboard okay let me just close this tab this is our home page and now without logging in i am going inside admin dashboard i am able to access so guys for this let's write the code so yep let's go back so first step guys we will move inside the admin folder let's go inside admin folder and create a file with the name authentication so authentication.php so this authentication will check our middleware that is your roles and permission as per the requirements okay logged in user so let's get started php open and php close first step we will start the session guys because main thing we are always session start and now guys let's write the condition to check whether the user is logged in or not so if he is not logged in you can just write first is set dollar underscore session of what that is your auth so if the user is authenticated not just add not so if the user is not authenticated then you are going to show the message session where you will tell login to access dashboard okay so one step where you will give this as message because we are using this message.php to show the message okay yep next is header location location colon we will redirect back to if you are not logged in so when you are not logged in on this admin dashboard we'll move to login.php page okay so login.php page let's copy this and yep paste here so guys we are inside the admin folder the authentication file is here you need to go one step back so you just need to move one step back and use exit function if the user is logged in he will be inside guys so here we have to check the user is admin or not so guys we will see that but let us test this first code so let's go to admin if you give admin you are on the index.php page okay so let's go to index.php page inside admin folder index.php so guys now you need to include this authentication file in each of your file if you want register products whatever you have you just need to include it so let's include that file with the name authentication.php okay and if you want to include this database you can just same thing include in your this code authentication so we don't need to call again and again so just add in your authentication.php file i mean index.php file let's save and let's get back so refresh you'll be to log into access dashboard okay let's try to access admin dashboard again slash admin log into access dashboard so guys now let's log in now let let me log in with om at gmail.com so he is not a admin okay you can see that home at gmail.com his role as is zero so zero is user let's log in now you are logged in okay and if you try to access dashboard admin it should show an error called like the user logged in is does not have access okay so for that guys let's get back and go back to your authentication.php inside this 
else condition you need to type again if the if where dollar underscore session of the not equal to one if the user is not equal to one it's a let's give in double quotes so what is that let's go to login code so when you see that we have created auth role so we fetch the data and we store the role so you can see that one is admin zero is user okay so role over here we have stored in the session let's copy this and you can check it over here if it's not equal to one you can just throw him out by saying it as you are not authorized as admin okay so save and now guys let's check it we have already logged in you can just refresh you can see that you are not authorized as admin but the user has logged in perfect so yep guys let's log out now logged out successfully and let's log in as an admin so let me just copy this with at gmail.com where one two three four five six seven eight and let's click on login okay guys so you can see that the user has logged in as admin perfect so we have successfully done guys how to give the roles and permission add a middleware and check the authentication in php so yep let's get back and now guys you can see that user is logged in let's go to login page once login.php so you can see that you can access the login page even though you have logged in so guys let's write the code for that a simple code let's go to our login.php file here is a login.php and the write a if condition where you will tell a set function dollar underscore session of auth so now guys this auth is we have when we log in so we are setting this to true so we will check that if it is set means then you are telling dollar underscore session where we will show the message m e s s a g e message is equal to you are already logged in and redirect back so you can just tell location colon on index dot php so home page and exit zero done guys save it now let's go back and we have already logged in let's refresh you can see you are already logged in so if you try to access your login.php file you are already logged in so same with the register page also guys over here register.php when you click you should say write the same condition to redirect so you just need to copy this that's all copy and go to register.php file and paste all set refresh you are already logged in done so guys now let's log out and let's log in with om at gmail.com so he's just a user he's not an admin and now guys you can see you are logged in let's access the login.php page you can see you are already logged in okay and now guys let's try to access admin so admin you can see you are already logged in okay so we are getting the message wrong guys because when you try to access your admin dashboard you should get you are not authorized so guys let's get back and yep let's go to login code over here so guys you just need to check this message if it is already set means then you don't need to show this message so you can just use if condition a set function dollar session of message so if it is not set then you just need to show this message okay let's save and yep guys let's refresh 
now let's try to access admin dashboard you can see you are not authorized as admin and let's go to login.php file you are logged in perfect so guys we have successfully done how to make a logout system in php and check the authentication of logged in user with the roles and middleware okay so guys please continue in next video with new topic and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share